Who got a match? Cam video time. We'll do something different in black. I want to do the big cam, but we don't have all the parts. Time to start throwing some of the, mo the motor company load in there, so we can do the horsepower cam, the 462 Screaming Eagle, the factory. <laughs> Andrews 464. Fueling 465. And the SNS 465.
for all everybody's support and watching the videos and calling in and asking us questions. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. We try our best to make everything as fair and as accurate as we can and to just put the information out so that people have an idea of what they're going to do before it comes to us. That's the purpose of this, so that you can kind of understand what's out there. There's a lot of different manufacturers, and I know that there were a lot of people that wanted cams in this in these series that we haven't been able to run. We just have to pick a cutoff, and these are the ones that people ask us about the most. So that's why we're doing these. It doesn't mean that the Redshift cams aren't amazing cams. It doesn't mean that the Rocket cams aren't amazing cams. We just have mm -hmm. more and the wood cams, we just get more calls for these than we do some of the other ones. And we have, I group them by lift because it's an easy way to do kind of like a comparison cutoff. You know, there's cams that are in between lifts and they're not really in this category or another category. So I'd like to try to keep it as close as possible with the results that we're gonna see. Stock 114 cam shootout. We got four different cams. Andrews, Fueling, s, &S and Screaming Eagle. The first one we did was the Screaming Eagle 462. I thought that it was probably a good idea to include the Screaming Eagle cam when we can because so people can get like a frame of reference for what. Yeah, and it, oftentimes that's where the conversation usually starts. Like we get right. the phone call and that's usually the bouncing board. Like, what can I do to my bike? I don't want to have to go to high compression. I don't want to go to the higher displacement. What can I do to make my bike perform better? And that's kind of what they've learned, um, you know, is the initial start, you know, jumping off point. And we kind of educate them from there and let them know there is other avenues to take. And we're going to show you what those are. Well, and compared to stock, you know, the stock 114, the first pull we did, brand new Street Glide Special 114 to the ground, 79 HP, 109 foot pounds of torque. This is a brand new bike, right out of the wrapper, broke in, put it on the dyno, it runs. So if you look at it, we paired that Screaming Eagle pipe with the D&D. It took it from 79 to 104 on horsepower, from 109 to 116. So it's it's a big bump over stock. Oh well, yeah, of course. So you're, you're definitely gonna notice it and feel it. If your buddy has a stock bike, you're leaving them without a doubt. Now, it might not be better than some of these other cams we're going to go over here shortly, but even if we compare it to our two and the one in the two pipe, you're getting similar results on the horsepower and the torque. Um, right. Real, real similar. So it ran good on both pipes. Um, the D and D, everything's pulling a little harder just right off the hump, and the two and the one in the two is carrying out a little farther down the line on pretty much every single pipe. Right. Yeah. And but again, he baffles kind of very nature. carefully too. Yeah, and that's kind of the nature of the D and D and the way we set up the baffles because part of that is a conversation of whether they, whether you're a lower RPM to mid-range rider or you like to be in from mid-range to top end. Because even with these smaller bolt-in cams where you don't need a whole lot of other work, you can still kind of tailor the riding depending on what they want. And if you look at uh, the with the uh, D&D pipe, right at, right at the beginning at 2000, it's a little bit softer than the stock, but I mean, it picks up and just takes off. Another thing to note on the Screaming Eagle pipe, or uh, I'm sorry, the Screaming Eagle cam, there is also the 447, which is the torque cam. The reason we chose the 462 is because the 447 will have a little bit higher of a hit in the beginning, but it doesn't carry out as far. It doesn't have, you know, you'd be looking at closer to 100 horsepower versus 105. Right. So that's why we picked this one, because this is going to be a little bit closer to the rest of the field than the 447 will. Yep. Yeah. And everybody looking to or watching, keep in mind, every single one of these cams were dyno tuned on Power Vision by Mike Van Orden here. So this is not a can map, it's not a drop in tune. These were carefully mapped, so your results may vary if you're, you're going on a, any kind of a can map or utilizing a different tuner. Before we dig back into, uh, into the numbers here, thank you. Thank you everybody that liked us, subscribed, shared us. Uh, the response that we got from that last cam test is really what led to us doing this as quickly as we are. Uh, we feel it, we feel it on the phones, the feedback we get is incredible, so thank you all very much, and uh, keep letting us know what you want to see, what you want to hear, and uh, we'll keep working. Right on, next one up. Next is the Andrews 464. So the first test was on the D&D. You can see, even like right at the beginning, it just immediately pops up 220 uh, torque, you're at like 2250 carries all the way over to almost 4,000 RPMs at uh, 120 torque, so I mean, it just pulls. 
and it's great. Yeah, what's interesting on this one too is how much it popped up on that two-into-one pipe early more than the previous one that we just looked at uh, on, on that, uh, that D&D pipe over the 212. It's a market difference there in torque. And then at about 4,500 RPMs, you can see the horsepower start to pick up and just carry it all the way to red line. Yep. It's a really nice can. This has been a go-to us for us for a little while. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see it laid out this way and actually uh, you know, stack them up against the others and see exactly why it's been a go-to for us for, for a while. Right. What else is cool is these M8s, this 114, you're getting 110 horsepower out of a stock Harley setup with a cam in it. I mean, in twin cam world, not even close to that. So, I mean, right. this cam motor with exhaust tune will outrun a built. You'd have been on like stage four, four stage five. Oh, yeah. Twin cam motors. So, I mean, it, it's, it's amazing incredible. what the right cam does in this M8. I mean, Harley did a good job putting this motor together and they're continuing to do a good job. And then everyone else we've been throwing their parts at them is just making these things shine. And we really don't have any problems out of them. They're awesome. When you look at the Andrews with the 212 Chrome Works, you can see right here in the mid-range at 3500, it just takes off, off. It jumps up, and carries all the way out to 5500 before yeah. it starts to, to fall off. It's got a little bit small, a little bit lower of an initial hit, but you can, you can, what, the way that translates on the road is you feel it pull in the beginning and then when you hit the mid-range it just pulls even harder. Force power so. just carries it yeah. off. Yeah. And if you look at the, the Reaper, it has amazing torque on the, on the, off the D&D pipe, I mean 125 torque, 112 horsepower. You can see it goes up, I mean at, at 3,000 RPMs you're at 125 torque. It's got a really nice yeah. broad horsepower line that goes all the way to the end. It's a super solid, super snappy, smooth pull on this cam. Well, what's cool about that one is that one has the most horsepower on both shootouts by a little bit. I mean, these are all so close. Mm -hmm. But what's nice about it, too, is the torque is carried farther than any other cam in both maps. Um, and both sets of pipes. So yep. whether we do the D&D 2 into one or we do that 2 into one into 2 Yeah. It, it's... It's cool that it carries from 35 all the way out to 5,000, a little bit more of the rest as yeah. well when that, when that cam's coming alive. Well, and that's one of Fueling's monikers is they say that they have the broadest torque cams, and they really do. They have really nice power sweeps. I mean, even when you look at, at, the, next, at the next one with the 212, you know, it's still got that little bit of a bump, but it, it comes on a little bit earlier than the Andrews, and like you said, it carries farther. And it's got a little bit more top end. You know, a horsepower two is really not that big of a deal, but like you said, it's how flat it is from beginning to end that's impressive with this cam. Yep, super impressive. Now, Fueling also, they were, they wanted us to run this cam in the previous series, right? Yeah, they wanted us to run it with the 475s. So. Yeah, so we opted to run it here and kind of compare it against, you know, equal competition. Um, I'd be kind of curious actually to see what it would do in a high comp setup in that environment, but maybe later. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe one maybe one of these will end up just doing like just our favorites. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, just run just run random cams that we just like we like super well. This is a really great cam. Or if there's things that you got you know you guys want to see, email us, text us, let us know what you want to see. Maybe we'll try it. Next. Last but not least, the SNS 465. So this is definitely one of our go-to cams because it is just a torque monster right off the bottom. This cam hits incredibly hard, and I mean, you're at 120 torque, just over 2,000 RPMs, and it, it carries over 120 all the way to four, so it, it's got a really aggressive start out. This is great for heavy riders, for heavy bikes, two up mountains, people that like to just roll on and pass and aren't necessarily racing their buddies, but just don't want to be left behind at the mirror of the star. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. We use this a great trike lot. cam. Yeah, we use that cam a lot. We put it in trikes. What's cool too is we run that cam with the gear drive setup a lot. Mm -hmm. That's one of our go-tos is taking that tensioner out. We don't have to worry about tensioner late on the road. And we like that setup a lot. So this cam has been in a lot of bikes that have left our shop that don't have pistons and stuff in them. Yeah. And it's, uh, no one ever leaves and they're like, oh man, I wish I did something different. Yeah, every time another you know, goes in, and they're happy. Yeah, and it I might not. Over time, this is probably been the most widely used cam that yeah. we've installed. Well, it fits it fits the riding style of most people very well because most people at four thousand RPMs are shifting gears. Mm -hmm. 
So it might not have the most aggressive horsepower on the top end, but it's got so much usable power. I mean, every time you pull the throttle, it just jumps. And the gear drive setup helps it, helps it to be just that much more bulletproof. And if, if you look on the Chromework setup, it still has that nice swoop in the mid-range. That yeah, big pickup from like 32 to like 38. It yeah. just it just bumps up right there. That's and I mean, a common it's, theme on that setup. And and again, at 2,000 RPMs, you're already at 120 foot pounds of torque. So I mean, you can. I mean, what <laughs> Which you again, mean? like put that in perspective, like what <laughs> yeah. we would have spent on a twin cam setup to get a, a curve and a setup that looked like that. Right. Oh, eight thousand dollars more. Yeah. On the stock motor. It's an exhaust tuner, heads, throttle body. On the stock engine, on the stock engine, your peak is at about 2750 at 109. So you have more power as soon as you pull it off idle than the stock motor had full board. Yeah. <laughs> so there's something to be said about that. With just bolting a cam in, you know, I mean, yeah. this is this is a pretty budget-friendly way to gain some pretty serious power. Absolutely. And then this time we also included kind of all the graphs together so that you can just see everything laid back to back. It helps make more informed decisions and then yeah, we've got that up on the screen. Yeah, well, that's crazy out of here. God. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, we're looking at the same paper you are. <laughs> so what else you guys got? Well, end of another long week. Actually, about a week and a half. We kind of split this one up just a little bit, but I know it's a lot of work for you, so thanks for rolling up your sleeves and getting it done and the craziness that yep. we have going on. Yeah, I know it was pretty busy to do it, but I think it's uh, pretty important that we popped it out right when we're the momentum is hot. Yeah, plus we got to practice on different bikes before you actually did the right bike. So we got to, you know, do this twice. <laughs> hey, I'll try to run. I, 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 I think that might do it with his eyes closed, man. He doesn't need any more. Mike just grabs random bikes around the dealerships and starts throwing cans. He <laughs> hey, doesn't even what? ask anymore. I say, hey, this one needs a can. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? Hey, hey. We sold that. We get a can. <laughs> well, we're, oh, we're, we're, let me talk to him. Well, first. we need to tell him they're going to give us more money because now that's a can it. If it works, usually. Stock motors suck. I mean, I mean, look at, look at Tommy Stock Scott. Suck. I told Scott, Tommy Scott, that if he wants to continue to come and have beer and hot dogs, he needs to put another motor in his bike, and he's okay. Yeah, we're starting that hashtag, by the way, too. <laughs> Stock motors suck. Hashtag. So we start being on our stuff because, I mean, it's cool to have a bike and ride, but they're not as fun. And the bike is, uh, as it came off the dyno for its last test, is gonna be. It's left that way. It's available for purchase, right? Yeah. yeah. It's got the SNS 465 with the D&D pipes on it. Yeah. So if you want a bike that's uh, sort of internet famous and proven performance, come see us and pick it up. Yeah, and besides that bike, we always try to have two bikes at the shop with high performance work, whether it's something like this with just a torque cam, just a horsepower cam in it, or we're doing one that's like our stage three. It's our take, it's Harley stage three. We take all the parts, we just take their cam out of their kit, and then we run one of the cams we prefer, and we do them differently every time. Um, yeah. Because we don't want every one of our customers running on the same bike. And they're all so close, it's just a little bit of difference of what we do. So if you're thinking about spending this kind of money, whether it's just this cam job or a bigger job, you can come to the shop, ride the bike, do it, give us a deposit on it, we can ship your bike and build it, send it back to you too. You know, there's all kinds of different things we do because we're just getting so much business from out of town. Well, yeah, the motor financing helps a lot too. Yeah, so. Yeah. We can finance a lot of these builds that help, so that you don't have to come out out of pocket for the whole bill. That's a good point. That's huge. I mean, a lot of customers don't have that available at their local dealer. We do in-house financing, and we do a 60-day same as cash. There is interest on it, though, if you go over the 60 days. But if you pay it off in 60 days, there's just an admin fee. But we have those needs met, so if you need to put a little bit of money down while finance the rest with us, give us a call. Um, that has made more motor bills a reality for a lot more customers. So call myself or call Aaron at the shop, 615-771-7775. It's probably over here. <laughs> right in right here. It's moving around the spot. <laughs> 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 And thank you to Leaper Sport Distillery. This is yeah. delicious. Yeah. And they were so gracious to host us. Cheers, so here's to the next one down. That's it.